wants. Uh, we did something yesterday where we partnered with Tri River. They've been doing this free rides to the lake. Uh, I mean, their free rides to the lake go to the main area, okay? but there's no, there's not any food service there, and there's no lifeguard there, and there's no supervision. So we thought we'd try it where there was supervision. We only have three people ride the bus. They have, they say that they have not had anybody ride the bus. So. Um, we're gonna, I think we're going to try one more time in, in August. Um, we did have, uh, Sean put a little blurb in the newspaper, and we did have people who read that, which is great, and came. Uh, so we ended up with 19 people there, we don't, we don't, even though we only had three right the bus. So. You did for Sean? Yeah, yeah, we really appreciate that. Um, the end of this month, on the 26th, we're going to have another community open house, and we are going to have the first annual Camp Lakeview kayak races that day. We recycled some old 4-H trophies, and uh, we'll see. So anybody's welcome to come. We'll put you in a kayak and put you in an age group and shove you out and have some lifeguards ready to get you if you fall out. We'll see what happens. Um, the other thing that ties into this is that we have this Flexi grant. And one of the, the purpose of the Flexi grant is to sort of move the process of building this camp along. We've had two meetings, haven't had a lot of um, people show up, but we've gotten some good ideas. <coughs> uh, we've gotten some people who have stepped up and taken some responsibility to do some more things. We've got a group that's working on trying to do an interpretive nature trail out there. We've got another group that's setting up a website that sort of interacts with how you can reserve a place at the lake. So hopefully some of those things will be beneficial to so I think probably we've got a camp development meeting coming up at the end of the month. Uh, I think after that we may have some uh, new folks who want to be on the camp development committee who will have brought their letters. And I don't have you gotten any at this point too? From anybody? Mm -hmm. People have talked about it, but I think if we get them at the meeting, we'll actually just have them sign a form or something. Um, but I think after that meeting, there will be a recommendation to revise that flexi budget that we bring to. So that's where we are at Camp Lakeview. Uh, the next thing is this Lincoln County Health Initiative that got formalized last, uh, last commission meeting. Um, some things that we've got going on now, we've got this uh, health survey that we're doing, trying to do countywide. Um, we've worked with the high school and we're going to do an adolescent health fair at the end of August. That will be after school started. It will be a noon to three thing for high school students and then after that we're going to do an evening thing for community members. Um, there's some different funding sources around. I think we'll probably be able to feed people uh, as an initiative to come to that. At the end of that, and the health fair would have, there'd be different booths that would talk about different kind of health issues, especially that impacted adolescents. At the end of that, we're gonna try to do a forum on prescription drugs and a forum on teen pregnancy issues for the county. So, um, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we'll the junior surveys do Primary care center, anything? Yes. Yes. I think, it's my understanding, Hearts is supposed to have them. Okay, I haven't seen Haven't them. you? Yeah, no. Okay, let me check with Carrie. Okay. Uh, Carrie Smith, who's the social worker, has been hired as a VISTA volunteer this summer okay. to work on this issue. So, yeah, I will check with her. And I guess along that line on the survey, have, are you using the uh, local paper to? We haven't. I'm not sure exactly why they haven't thought about that. It seems like we, I mean, I we, we could. That'd be one more, one more way to get it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think we could do it online? Yeah. We could even do it. Okay. Perfect. I think we could just if you're okay to do it, we could just do it. Yeah. Thank you. Great. Um, uh, future things that we've got with this health initiative, um, we're going to pull together a meeting. Uh, and we probably ought to pull in hearts too. Hearts always gets forgotten. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> With the health department, primary care, the health initiative, hearts clinic, to just sort of talk about. Okay, we're thinking about these things. I know. You know, hearts does a semi every two years health fair in county. Primary care center does it. Make sure we 
coordinate stuff on it. would help us too because uh, uh, we're, we're modifying what we're doing up there because Dr. Kessler has left in September. So we have another position coming in September. But, uh, we have that small thing. I don't know exactly what all will tell you. But, yeah, we, I'm sure we, we have to work with you coordinate. That's good. And who would be the point person for that? You can holler me. It has okay. to holler me if they're not right. going in the right direction. Great. Um, we're also trying to set up a forum on the federal health care legislation so that people know exactly what that means. I think there's all sorts of confusion and misunderstanding about what the health care is going to bring us down the line. So we're going to try to do that. And then, of course, sometime during this calendar year, we're going to have a health summit. Um, got a copy of the health survey there. You only need to fill that out once. <laughs> Thank you. And the last thing is, um, I guess formally we have not, we the commission have not gotten word about this EEC block grant, which is the heating and cooling thing we've applied, but it, it's been announced other places. So um, we went ahead and um, we'll, we're going to have to get out a bid package for this. And um, I'm a a little more over my head than I even was with the wastewater stuff <laughs> with this one. So um, I asked Jeff Brown, who helped do the proposal, about doing the project specs and the scope of work and the technical bid package. Um, he's with Casto Technical Services. Uh, he's happy to do that. They are going to actually be one of the people who bid on the project. So what he proposed was to go ahead and do that for $515 with the understanding if they got the bid, they would credit <coughs> that amount to that. If they didn't, they keep it. So I wanted to bring that before the commission to see if we, you approve that. Okay, uh, I think we probably need a motion to consider that. So pleasure the board here to and what's this for? What are we doing? This, this is that system where we would redo the whole heating and cooling system. We got what, two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, in, in the courthouse. In the courthouse. So how'd you get wrapped into that? <laughs> Jim, I went in to talk to Judy about something, and she said, "Rick, I, I motion we go ahead with that." I'll second. The motion second to provide the uh, services of Casco Technical for five hundred fifteen hundred dollars. We may be clear about that. That's not to for a whole new system. It's just That's for the correct. duct work and the boxes. That is right. And it's actually going to entail uh, our first. We've got a motion to second. That'd be all. Yes. Motion carries. It entails more than probably two hundred thousand. We don't know until we bid, but there's a possibility, and we do have some additional money. So right. We but, well, the commission did approve forty-three thousand. Is that what it was? Yes, and we have a grant. An additional $43,000 from commission coal settlements, I think, if we needed it to complete the project, because when we submitted the project, it was for more than the 200. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Budget wise, yeah. So. yeah. yeah. Okay. But anyway, and in this, if I remember right, uh, they projected when they did the study and got ready to bid, there is a great savings of energy. That's right. That's part of the whole deal to save energy. Yes. I don't know what fifteen percent or more. Something like that. Because each individual everybody's office would have their own thermostat system. Uh, and the way it is now, some places have cold air blowing in all the time and some places have hot air blowing in all the time. This would take care of that problem. Um, and I need to really get clarification from Jeff. It would seem like you also want to build into the total system where at a certain time of the day, you know, the heat would, and every place would drop down to 60 degrees, or, you know, so that you'd save money total wide for the courthouse anyway. Well, uh, do you think I ought to call somebody to see if we got this thing? Good. Or do you think we just start to keep waiting? I think we can go ahead and maybe call, but uh, Michelle uh, okay. Craig told me it's definitely a, a go. So All right. She's okay. the director. Well, I'll call region. Whatever it is, two, three, whatever. Web. Yes. Michael.